do you think you need a Kinect to detect motion? Or maybe a real sense technology? Well, that depends on how accurate you want to be. What I'm saying is, you can easily get away with using almost any web camera like I'm doing right now. And no, I'm not talking about calculating an optical flow or any GLSL. We're gonna use a time machine. By the way, uh, I have another video on time machines in Dutch Designer. Go watch it if you haven't. It should be right, right here. Here. Let's set it up. Take a video device in. Oh, hi. Take a texture 3D top. You don't need a large buffer. 20 frames will work fine. Now, add a time machine and a constant. Go to time machine parameters, set the black offset to 0 and white to minus 20. So now we have me and a slightly delayed version of myself. Add a composite top. Connect both the camera and the delayed version. Video device scene should go first. Set the operation to subtractive. Now we can add a threshold, set it to something like 0.07 and maybe add a bit of blur. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but now you can detect motion. You can use it to interact with the reaction diffusion feedback loop, do a funny dance or shoot particles out of your body. It can also work with a video or any moving input for that matter. Of course, there is a bunch of limitations to this method, like your input has to have a fair amount of contrast, it only works properly with a static background, it has about a second of lag or less if you decrease the white offset, but yeah, it's cool and fun to use.